this video, we'll show you how to create and publish your own 360 degree virtual tour. Once you log into your iSpy360 account, click on the button labeled Add Tour. Make sure you add a unique tour name here because this is gonna show up in your tour itself and any social media posts that you do. Our next step is to upload your 360 photos. Click on the Upload button. Find the photos that you want to upload. And as the iSpy360 platform is adding these photos to the tour, they are actually converting them into what they call donuts. The donuts give us a top-down view of the 360 images, which allow us to connect those images together. Once the donuts show up in the tour, we're going to want to check the names to make sure they're good for the labels on our hotspots. Here, let's add in something a little bit more descriptive for the driver and for the passenger. All right, next we want to link those photos together. So we'll click on the link button and we'll pick a spot on our driver view and we'll drag that over and connect that to our passenger view. As you can see, this creates a link between the two photos. Now click on 360 view. This brings us inside the tour. You'll see that the lines that we drew between the pictures actually created a hotspot that do link the two different photos together. Now, we've got our passenger view hotspot here. We need to move over to the passenger side. Let's click on that. Let's find the same for our driver's view. We'll put that over here on our driver's side. We need to set the view for these photos so that when your viewers click on the hotspot, you know the orientation that they'll have on the photo. So I'll click set view here. We'll click on the driver's view. We'll need to go through the same process and set the view for our passenger view. Now, if we click on passenger view, it's gonna take us over. Now we're gonna be looking through the front of the car as we expect. Let's click on the driver view. As you can see, we have the proper orientation there as well. Now you have a decision to make. Do you want to publish your tour the way it is or add info buttons with Rich Media? We'll cover how to add information buttons in another help video. For now, let's go ahead and publish our tour. Okay, folks, now that you can see that we've published our tour successfully, there are some options that we have. We can set the auto rotation settings. We can turn on and off hotspot labels, our title, and iSpy Live. When you're ready to share, you can share it with any one of these buttons down here. That'll allow you to go to uh, Facebook, other social media, as you can see. You can send it out via email, or you can embed it on your website. Finally, what you want to do is click on the link to check your tour. This brings up the full version of the tour, just as your viewers would see it wherever you publish it. Once you've decided that you like it, you're all set. You can just close your tour. If there's any edits that you want to make, you'll go through the same process. You'll close the tour. Then you can close this dialog box, make your edits, and republish. The new tour will automatically publish, and then you can unpublish the old tour.